Hi guys, this will be a quick video on dungeon puzzles and trap room cheeses. If this video does help, make sure to subscribe. Now let's get right into it. If the cheese is at the top, the order in which you kill them is highest, lowest, and vice versa. The chest does not give score, it only gives blessings. Make sure to do the secret. This puzzle is basically impossible to fail. If you mess it up, you can break through the glass and press the buttons to move the boxes back. When doing creepy beams, you'll want to be shooting the sea lantern opposite to the other sea lantern. DSM can help with this. Jujubo can complete this puzzle really fast. When you come across bomb defuse, you'll want to rogue sword to get 400 to 500 speed. You're then going to run over the pressure plates to start defusing the puzzle. You want to stalk through the first wall, then enter the middle. Once you're in the middle, you need to precisely time the jump with breaking the top two blocks. When you're bugged inside of these blocks, you want to do a 180 and start bots with staffing through. You can AOTE, one block forward, or you can walk. However, this does come with a risk of going too fast and breaking the ice, making you restart that level of the puzzle. Be careful not to have too much speed. When you come across the three weirdos, you can teleport through the iron bars. If you can't use the solver, use the Dungeon Secret Guide Discord server to look up a spreadsheet that tells you which one is telling the truth. However, you can also use a solver to highlight which chest to pick. For Silverfish Puzzle, all you're going to want to do is memorize it. It's that easy. Just look what I'm doing. Try and memorize it. Up, down, left, right. Boom. Done. Upon entering top or maze, you'll want to go to the diagonal portal frame. The solver I'm using here is SP. But if you don't have SP, you can still just go diagonal every portal frame and easily complete it within 30 seconds. You can break the iron bar to get the lever. You go over to your right to get the chest. And the goal of tic-tac-toe is to tie. You can never win. For the puzzle, you can either use a solver or your brain. You can use a solver or ask someone in your dungeon party to tell you the answers. You also don't have to push the buttons. You can push the block instead. You can use a Mokul Dungeon Guide, and usually you can complete the puzzle within two rotations of levers. If for some reason you can't download the mod, you can use SPE or just put some time into it. This is Old Trap. What you want to do in Old Trap is blow up the crypt, kill the crypt, stomp straight into the wall, and go diagonally towards the chest until that block there is destroyed and collect the chest. This is, this is new trunk, put in your spirit boots, yeah. double taps, jump, fly forwards, go to the right. Once you get to the right, you're going to want to flick the lead off. Then you're going to want to run across the side here, because if you jump that lock, don't go log, it falls down and you have to restart. Once you kill the bat, you want to get out and jump forwards. Go to the very edge of the thing and collect the chest. Quickly run down and get the last secret for the room. So if you if you don't enter the yellow room, the health of the mob doesn't get multiplied by two. Therefore, it's easier and faster to kill. 
I would recommend not entering and killing before if possible. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more dungeon tutorials. Bye. Bye.